Hi, my name is Sheila Cahoon, and I wanted to show you today how to do a background, uh, uh, a bordered background behind your image. So I have a thumbnail um, canvas in Canva, and um, this tutorial is going to be on Canva because I hadn't seen one out there to, to do an outline, so I wanted to do one uh, and post it up in YouTube so that others could see how to do it. So anywho, I have already put my picture in here and from here, you're going to create a copy of your picture or whatever it is that you're going to put it back uh, a border around. Um, from here, you're going to go, um, you're going to make sure that the picture is highlighted, selected, and you're going to come up here to effects. From effects, you're going to come over here to duotone, and you're going to pick whatever color you want. It, it doesn't really matter unless um, you're just using like a, a highlighted background or something like that where you want um, one of these colors. Um, because what we're going to do is we're going to go in and change the color. So I'm going to pick this color, and it gives me a yellow hue. Now we can simply increase that and we can we can put that behind the um, original image maybe shrink this down a little bit and give it a little bit of a picker hairdo or what we can do is we can change the color of the image so we're going to go back and we're going to pick yellow again and see these three lines here we can go in and we can pick the color of the um, background that we want. So if it's yellow, we can come in here and we can pick pink or we can pick red or green or whatever. So in this in this particular example, I'm just going to make it pink. So what I can do is I could leave it here as pink and again, just throw my image over it. OK, and have like a little background that way. Or what you can do is you can, um, I'm sorry, go back into effects. You can go back into duotone and you're going to pick that color again. Um, I think it was this color. Okay, so we have that color here. Now, if you want a total solid color in here, you're going to have the highlight color and the shadow color be the same exact color. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna highlight the hex code here and you're gonna copy it. So Control C on the Windows computer and Command C on the Mac, and you're gonna click off and then you're gonna come down here to shadows and you're gonna highlight the hex code in shadow because that's not the one we want and you're going to control v and paste that hex code in there so now your highlight and your shadow are both the same color okay so from there we're going to click apply and after that we're going to simply come on um, move our image over and come on to the front of our colored image. So now it looks like we have a border. Um, if you notice down here, it's kind of different. It doesn't match up exactly correct. So what you're gonna do is you're going to copy and paste your colored image. So basically creating a secondary copy of it. And from here, you're gonna take the original colored copy and you're gonna you're going to crop it. So you're going to crop it probably maybe middle of the neck or something like that. You, you'll figure it out as you start to do this. You'll start to figure out where you want to crop it at. So mine, I'm going to crop, crop it here at the neck. And then this image, I'm going to crop down to the neck. And so what that does is it gives me two separate pieces to work with. So now I'm going to put this on top of here. And I'm going to move my image back over. But you see now, now my original image is behind that secondary one. We want to take 
the position and move it forward, okay? So now we have that secondary image down here that we can move around. It's still kind of not exactly where we want it. So we highlight over the bottom portion of it, make sure we select it. And all you're gonna do is move, inch, inch it up by using your arrows and inch it over the same way. So inch it up and inch it over using your arrow keys on your keyboard, okay? So as you see right now, we have a nice border around our original image. So if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. I will um, be able to see the comments and be able to respond to them accordingly. So, and if you ever need any other helpful tips about Canva, feel free to reach out to me at smc at milocalrealty.com. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye.